Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffledandrainboots.com here with a Dollar Tree toilet paper roll gnome. I said that right. If you'd like to make it, boop, stick around. As always, please hit the like button so I know you're here crafting. Now, A, I am going to laugh throughout this entire thing because I did when I was making it. And B, I have had so many requests for this. I hope this is what everyone was after. So I headed over to my craft stash, and this is all from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use a Jumbo Charmin paper roll. You know it will work with the big rolls. I'm also going to show it on a Kleenex box because I had it on hand and wanted to see if it would work. I'm using a Dollar Tree Santa hat and a cotton mop from the Dollar Tree. Now you can use the synthetic, you can use the natural or this white. You need something for a nose, a wood bead, a pom-pom, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna use a knob, a hot glue gun, and some scissors, which are technically optional. <laughs> okay, let's get started. This is a toilet paper roll. This is a mop. We're going to take the part that joins with the pole and we're going to push it into the center of our toilet paper roll. Yep, that's it. That Guess what that is? That's our beard. Isn't that hilarious? So I just wanted to show you, you can see it works all the way around or you can take it and flip it forward. So you're going to push it back in. I pulled mine out accidentally, but you push it back in and then you can create sort of a variegated look for the beard on the front. Watch, I'll show you. Hold on. Look at this. That's so cute. But you can also just flip it all the way back, like, you know, just pull it all the way around and then it goes all the way around. But put it aside because we're done. Next up, take your scissors and remove the Dollar Tree tag. Again, you can just rip it off. And then the Dollar Tree hats have two seams. And one is always kind of prettier than the other. So find the prettier seam and then flop it opposite. So, ready? There you go. Look, you're done with the hat. <laughs> now, technically, you can glue that hat in place so that flop always stays there. But... I don't know. I just decided I'm going to move on to the nose. I'm going to use these wood um, doorknob. No, not doorknobs. Drawer knobs. I've had them in my stash forever. I like this big flat part at the top. And I thought, oh, wow, this is going to elevate this. <laughs> if you don't have these, grab a pom pom or no, what do you call it? Ping pong ball from the Dollar Tree. You could use that as well. You could paint it or just leave it white. So I'm just going to add an obscene amount of hot glue. Now, while this dries, I just want to tell you, this entire thing is real time. I didn't edit anything out. And number two, you can dye the cotton beards from the Dollar Tree. You can coffee stain them, or you can use RIT dye for natural fabrics and do any color of the rainbow. So I love these cotton beards for that. You can also use macrame cord, but that would be really expensive, or yarn if you have it on hand and want to use it. Either way, I... I literally did this craft in between two different crafts I was waiting on drying, and that's it. Like, this was hilarious. Again, you can glue down the side of the hat so it always stays like this. But wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Let me show it to you in the Kleenex box, because as terrifying as this is, it actually works with this as well. So if you have the longer rectangle Kleenex boxes, you may need two beers or just use it all in the front. But, you know, look how cute this ends up being. <laughs> I have to say, I don't know why so many people ask me for this over the years or whatever, but I had such a good time and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of this quick Dollar Tree craft? I can't even get through it without laughing. I really enjoyed myself. As always, thank you for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe for more crafty fun.